Good morning, everyone, and welcome to today's webinar on taking action for your individual business. As most of you probably already know, my name is Chelsea Smith. I am a learning and development specialist here at Action Benefits, helping you as agents make the most out of your agency. And joining me today is um, one of the individual team themselves. I would venture to say one of the best, but I say that about all of them. So, <laughs> um, all right, Jessica, go ahead and introduce yourself to the squad, please, before we continue. Hey everyone, I am Jessica Schmaltz. I have worked at Action Benefits for 11 years now. Kind of crazy to think about. Um, I am an individual account manager. There are a few of us and I'm happy to be here with you today. Thanks, Chels. And Jessica will feel free to add any additional details to the things I'm going to tell you today since she is the boots on the ground to the things that we are going to talk about here today. So hopefully, if you're someone who's new to action, this kind of convinces you to take that turn and start working with us. And if you are not new to action, maybe you learned something about a support that you didn't know that we had that we could do for you. So hopefully, everyone leaves today with something they um, can take away to support their business even further. So the goals of today is I'd like to be able to tell you about the different supports that Action Benefits provides in the individual under 65 market. Um, I'd hope to be able to identify some key points of contact to assist you at Action Benefits. Um, describing how to get recertified on the federally facilitated marketplace, if that is something that you would like to do. Uh, describe how you can get recertified or certified for Medicare, if that is something that you so choose to do. And then finally, get to know and become a little more familiar with some of the electronic resources that are available to support you in your journey as an individual agent partnered with Action. So a lot of different ways that we support you here, five that I have right on the screen here in a general sense, but I guarantee you, you're going to find a lot more than just that five. In the under 65 market, often need guidance and navigating the various options that are available to them. And that's not, that's true for Medicare as well. They, it's a complicated market out there, complicated thing to get involved in. And most people need some guidance getting through that stuff. And to get to that guidance, they're going to turn to you as the agent and as a trusted and valued expert in that local community to tell them what and help them guide them to what plan would fit the, um, be the best option for them. But who guides the guiders, right? Who helps you? You can't do it all. I think I believe in you. I think that you can do a lot, but I don't think you can do it all. Um, as a field marketing organization in this market, Action partners with you to help you maintain and grow your book of business. From processing enrollments and servicing customers uh, and servicing their inquiries, we do what we can to keep you off of the phone and in front of your prospects and established accounts. At the end of the day, my favorite one sentence way to sum up how we help you as agents is we answer the phone. I know it sounds so like, what? What do you mean you answer? We just answer the phone. You call us, we will answer, we will help you. That if you get anything out of today, that one sentence, I want you to get out of, we'll answer the phone when you call. And so will your team, but we're here for individuals today. Um, as a field marketing organization, we're not confined to any one territory or even any one carrier, but we are able to support agents and consumers all throughout the state um, with multiple carriers. So in short, we're your middleman and are built to facilitate your relationship with multiple carriers, sometimes even across the country. So as you might already know, if you work with us already or been to our website or anything like that, you know that Action Benefits did used to be Blue Exclusive. That has changed in the past few years, and we now work with, as you can see, a wide variety of different carriers, each one offering its own little something to provide you with the best options for your clients, right? So lots of different options across the board here for carriers that you might want to have a relationship with and include us in it as well. So if you're looking for support just with individual and under 65, uh, these are the two carriers that we would work with. With Blue, we have Blue and Priority Health with individual, and that is for on and off marketplace. 
Uh, if you're looking to sell de or dental and vision for under 65, we can throw Humana in that one too. And we can help you with all 50 states for dental and vision for Humana. And then if Medicare is more your style, we can assist you with even more carriers. We can chuck in McLaren, Health Plan, United Healthcare, and Wellaby slash Medico, used to be called Medico. Um, we can add those in if you're looking at Medicare Advantage plans, MAPDs, MedSups, and prescription drug plans. And then, of course, we have your ancillary products, or as I've also heard them be called, supplementary, supplemental um, products. So if you're looking to work with those, um, we can help you with GTL, Wellaby, and Life Secure. So these are kind of your extras, but always a great way to kind of expand your book of business without having to do a ton of front end grassroots legwork to get those extra customers in your door. You already have them in your book of business. Might as well have an option for helping them even further, uh, making sure that they are covered to the full extent of what they need. So now that you know all the carriers that we work with, let's get into what we can do for you in the life cycle of your contract with us. So we work hard to help you we are successful only if you are successful. Um, and we keep that in mind in every aspect of what we're doing. So I kind of created this little um, flow chart to describe kind of the model for how you would approach those services. So everyone enters this model through the consulting phase up there at the top. And we help prepare agents with the product and process knowledge that they'll need to support their customers. So basically we're going to help you um, help you help your customers choose plans that fit just right and give you the tools that work best for you. In the quoting phase, your account team works with carriers and yourselves to generate options for your clients to consider. And then in the enrollment phase, our team helps ensure that all of the T's are crossed and the I's are dotted as the individuals complete their enrollment forms and, and their coverage is extended. And then the client maintenance phase will help facilitate renewals, support answering claim processing questions, and anything else that will need to ensure um, your client is successful and continues to enjoy their coverage. So now that is like the most, I feel like the most like high level explanation of what we do. So Jessica, I, I bet you have stuff to add. Definitely, Chelsea. So a lot of what Chelsea said, you know, we're going to talk with you. If you call in, we're going to make sure that, you know, we're understanding your client's needs, kind of brainstorm with you um, into the quoting phase. Um, just maybe looking at the plans that really people are enrolling in um, and then go over the application, make sure all, everything's good, that that application is going to be approved. You've got all the supporting documents, if it's an SEP. And then just making sure that, you know, the approval went through, you know what the contract ID number is, that type of thing. Um, really just helping you along the way to be that back end office for you. Awesome. Yes. I, whenever I walk by, they, they used to be close to me. Okay. So <laughs> they, the individual team's office, like cubicles used to be right next to mine. And so I used to be able to hear them all day and they were on the phones all day, listening at, listening to client issues, trying to find different avenues to solve them on the phone with carriers, on the phone with whoever they needed to be on the phone with to get that problem solved. And they, and they were always working together with one another. I'd hear across conversations about how to solve things. I would be learning stuff as I'd be listening to them. And unfortunately we had to sh shuffle some desks around so I don't get to hear them as much and it's, it's a little lonely over there now, but it's okay. It's okay. Okay, so who to contact? So I'm sure you're wondering, who are these lovely people? Well, let me tell you, they are lovely. Um, so your account managing team is made up of three levels. You have your account managers, your account coordinators, and then the things that you can kind of do with the action benefits portal that you can do without the assistance of them if you're more of a do it yourself, -er, right? So beginning with your account manager, they're kind of going to be your first point of contact, right? You're likely to have already been in touch with this person at some point or another, whether it's through your email, 
through calling them up or both. They're a great resource for you in supporting your clients, and they're happy to consult you uh, with any need that you might have. They're well equipped to assist with like customer service escalations that you might have any of that kind of stuff. So another way that you could get support is through your account coordinators. Um, they're in the business of following specific tasks from start to finish. So they'll provide like your processing support um, in case of a paper application. They'll ver verify your QLE documentation, stuff like that. Um, they make sure, like we talked about before, all of those I's are dotted and those T's are crossed. Um, so that you, again, don't have to spend time doing that. You can go out and sell some more, right? So the third member, our, our backup member, is the agent portal found inside of actionbenefits.com. We're going to talk a little bit more about that later, but this portal allows you to view the business that has been written with a 03GA code. You can uh, also are able to attract, or excuse me, try that again. You're also able to use the status tracker, there we go, to see where any request work is. So for example, you can see what our team has done with a particular request and when that request was submitted to the Blues. And you'll also be able to access your commission statements, um, which we'll highlight in a second. Um, Jess, is there anything since, uh, you know, your title's up here on the screen, is there anything you want to add? No, I think we kind of all do everything, right? Like while I am an, an account manager, you know, you may find me doing some account coordinating, um, processing applications, answering phones, and that goes for everyone on the team. So even though we might have different titles, we're we're all doing it. And then, you know, the action benefits portal, which I know Chelsea's going to go over, there's a ton of um, useful to tools there with coverage for one and insurability and the knowledge base. So um, we're here to support you throughout all of it. So just my little plug. All right, awesome, yes. So look at those smiling faces. Those are your individual and Medicare team. There's the individual market or I'm sorry, individual account team. Look at them go, they're wonderful. So if you call that, if you call the individual team, this is the faces in, that you are hearing. If you see yours up there, give them a call tomorrow today. Tell them that they looked great. Okay, so there's two main methods you can use to get in touch with your account team. The inbox, which is individual at actsandbenefits.com, is a great way to submit documents such as paper applications and QLE related items, commissions inquiries, and maintenance changes, like changes in address or something like that. And then the 1 800 number, 1 833 754 2163, will direct you right to our account management team for questions about plan design, support with the technology platform or any other time you'd like a more personal touch, our account management team is ready to take your call. Okay, so now let's get into how to get your federally facilitated marketplace certification. So we wanna make sure you're familiar with being certified on the marketplace. If you've been working in this market for a while, you probably already know what this process looks like. So we're not gonna talk like super long about it, but for those of you who are newer to the market, it sounds like there was a lot of us here in the webinar today who are newer to the market, we want to make sure you're broadly familiar with what you need to do. And then, of course, if you need any more individualized direction, you know where to go. If you don't know, it's your individual account manager. So before we talk about the process itself, we want to share a few facts about the marketplace that might kind of tip you over in the scales of um, getting uh, certified in this market. First of all, it's really important to note that the federally facilitated marketplace certification is a prerequisite to earning commissions for the on marketplace sales that you make. In other words, you have to be certified to properly assist customers who may be eligible for subsidies. And that's important to keep in mind because the American Rescue Plan expanded eligibility for those premium tax credits, meaning that even more consumers than ever before are eligible for subsidies on the marketplace, meaning cheaper health insurance. So there's going to be more people than ever before 
who are looking to get um, coverage through the marketplace. They are now going to be able to afford coverage who might not have been able to afford it before. We've also heard some conversation in the field about how the income levels uh, are about, let me try that again. We're also have been hearing some conversations in the field about the income levels that are now eligible for subsidies. For 2025, the subsidy clip has been eliminated. That means there's no automatic disqualification for subsidies once a household earns more than 400% of the federal poverty level for its size. So uh, the American Rescue Plan had capped health insurance premiums at no more than 8.5% of income. And that means that those at a higher income level may be eligible for a premium tax credit, though it may be smaller as their income level rises. And we spend a little bit more uh, time talking about that in the product knowledge courses. Um, so take a look at that if you're more interested in learning more about that. And then what does all that mean for the market? So the Kaiser, Kaiser Family Foundation estimates that 92% of current individual purchasers are now eligible for subsidies. That means that many more people are now eligible for tax credits than are not. And so because the tax credit is only available for on marketplace enrollments, it's probably oftentimes going to be in the best interest of a consumer to enroll in an on marketplace plan um, in comparison to going off marketplace. So what that means for you is it's going to be more beneficial to you to be certified to be on that marketplace so you can service your clients in the most financially responsible way for them. With all that being said, we're happy to con uh, contract with you in a referral program to support you in this specific market. And without further ado, we can talk about what that process will look like. So being certified in the marketplace is mandated by CMS for assisting consumers with on marketplace enrollments, whether those enrollments occur via the direct enrollment process via healthcare.gov or via enhanced direct enrollment through other platforms. Market certification will be live soon. The 2024 Health Sherpa landing page was taken down on the 12th to get ready. So it's going to be out any day now. So the first part, so if you're going to take the federally facilitated marketplace journey with as a new agent, it's going to look a little different than those of us who are, who have been doing this for a while and are going to be taking a different path. So the first portion here that I've highlighted on the screen takes about 10 minutes. Um, and the actual training can be completed in an afternoon. When I did it last year, it took me like four-ish hours. Um, and the last steps are relatively short, no more than a half hour altogether. Well, and Chels, um, just inter interjecting here, Sherpa, if you do your certification through them, they do offer three CE credits. So it's free. You don't have to pay for them if you're doing the marketplace certification through Health Sherpa. Um, so that's a bonus. If you're like me, who you got to hurry up and get those done, you know, that's a way to get three CE credits. Beautiful. Perfect. Yes. Um, I forgot to mention that. Yes, the Health Sherpa one does give you some of those CE credits. And it's an easier way to get those taken care of so you don't have to go taking care of them later. Good call. So the recertification process is kind of similar, but without the account setup steps that I mentioned before. Um, instead, you'll be asked to verify and update that information, and then it points you towards the training portions. And the training portions for the recertification process um, is a whoop. I always do that. I always click one more on accident. Um, the recertification ones, training courses are a little bit shorter than the um, new agent ones. So if you are revisiting, it's not going to take you quite as long as the 3.5 hour process. I still might block out a, a good portion of an afternoon just to be safe. Um, it should not take you nearly as long, especially if you're seasoned, you already know what's going on. It shouldn't take you as long. And truthfully, it's only 10 questions. I mean, for both new agents and recertification. So the test itself is 10 questions, but getting to the test that it's giving you a lot of information, which I know Chelsea said four hours and it seems crazy long, but you know, you can start it, go back to it. 
Um, but it's really just giving you a ton of information within the modules that you're looking at. So, you know, it, you're coming out of it way more informed um, than you were before. So, I, it, personally, I think it's worth it, even if you're not planning on doing the certification or selling in the marketplace, at least then you're a little bit more familiar. Take the time if you have it. Um, I did mine on my way to Chicago. So, you know, <laughs> you're in the car, why not? I did, yeah, I did notice the second time around, it was so much quicker than the first time. Like, I felt like it was my entire life the first time I was doing it. And then as time went on, it just got easier and easier. All right, so some key points before we shift into the other portions of our show. We want to stress that certification is not a requirement for working with action. So if you want to just do the Medicare side of things and are not interested in the um, in the uh, individual portion, you do not need to get that certification if you don't want to. We're not going to make you. We also want to note that all blue and all priority plans that are offered on Marketplace are also offered off the Marketplace for consumers who are not eligible for a subsidy. So if you say you just want one one-off client who really wants an off Marketplace cert, you can still, or I'm sorry, off Marketplace plan, you can still do that and no have no need to get the cert if you don't want to. Um, both carriers also offer plans that are only available off the Marketplace. Uh, those generally come with lower premiums, but enrollees in these plans are not eligible for the premium tax credits as we talked about earlier. So again, the only, like if they really want that lower premium and they don't qualify for those subsidies, maybe off marketplace is the best place for them. Sure. Um, and then finally, we want to stress that we facilitate the sale and servicing of all of your new under 65 business whether it's written on or off the marketplace. We can help you in either, in either way. So I do want to point out, though, that there is a, a difference there. There are some things we can't do, just like you can't do if it's um, marketplace. So, you know, terming, the, there's, the servicing just looks a little different um, for on and off. But when it's on, there are things that we just, we can't, we can't do it. Um, the member has to, or, uh, the, you know, they have to call the marketplace. So just stressing that we'll try to do as much as we can, but um, there are limitations. Federal law is still federal law, you know. All right. So Jess, is there anything to add before I jump into the Medicare portion of our show? So in case you guys haven't been paying attention, not just to our um, webinar today, but Certification is happening, uh, I mean, within the next few weeks. So CMS has started some webinars. Yesterday there was one on, you know, the process of getting, setting up those accounts and getting to the point of marketplace certification. Um, there's one for returning agents tomorrow. And so if you don't have a RegTap account, maybe set one up. Um, if you have your curious what RegTap is, reach out to us and we'll kind of guide you through that um, because they will have multiple webinars coming up. They do have pre-recorded webinars and we can, we have the slides so we can send them to you too to kind of get you going on that. They also, yeah, they host like Q&A ones too, which I've gone to a couple times um, just to kind of get a temperature for what agents are asking. So even if the topics, some if the topics that they're doing webinars on aren't helpful for you, you could sign up to go to one of those Q and A ones and they can answer your questions there. So I just thought that was, that was kind of cool. Okay, so Medicare certification. So let's go through the Medicare portion of our show of how to get certified there. So what do you need to be certified before, or when do I have to be certified, excuse me. So before discussing any products with prospective clients, before selling to a client, before you can receive any sales uh, kits. And then the one you're probably most interested in is before you can receive any renewal commissions. So it is really important to be certified before December 31st if you're wanting to receive those renewal commissions for the next year. So all of these things are necessary if you um, to be certified at the right time. 
So what is the certification process? For Medicare Advantage for training, you have to know the original Medicare basics, compliance and sales oversights, Medicare parts C and D, combating fraud, waste, and abuse, and then take a final exam. For the individual product training portion, it is carrier specific, um, Michigan and MA and supplemental plans and premiums, and then a final exam. And then group product training, carrier specific, group MA products and premiums, and then there's a final exam. Um, and then keep in mind that you must pass with a 85% or better, and you get three attempts for product training. Okay. So overall, between both of your lines of business, this is kind of what you're looking at. You want to make sure you have a license. Obviously, we didn't talk that much about that, but if you're here, you have a license. Get appointed, get certified, and then you're ready to sell. Um, Jess, is there anything you want to add? I know some people might be asking when Blue Cross is doing their certification. No, we don't know yet. Um, so you can definitely call and ask us that question, but um, we we don't know. All right, and that brings us into the electronic resource portion of our show. So these are the um, online portals that you can use either provided by the carrier or provided by ourselves. Um, we're very blessed at Action to have a large technology support section of our business. So of course we love showing off technology, even if it's not something that we created, we are more than uh, willing to help you with those technology pieces especially those ones that we have created for you in-house. So we just wanna go through some of those really quickly um, before we end our show today. So this is the screen for, we'll start with blue. Um, this is the screen that you will see when you log into your Agent Secure Services accounts with blue. Um, and then if you click on that individual box up there right with the orange box, that's going to kind of be where your um, individual portions of your business things are going to be housed. And then you'll get taken to a dashboard where you can see, as you guessed it, all of your individual business. If you look at mine, as you can see, uh, uh, I don't have any. <laughs> don't be like me. Okay, so, um, but that is where you'd see if it was there. So let's go across to the top really quick um, so you can get a feel of what you're gonna have in front of you at your fingertips. So first, if you click on that tools portion, you can get into the links you might be interested in and filter using the drop down shown in the middle of your screen. Um, Jess, at any point, if you wanna jump in and tell them more about some of that, go ahead. Yeah, so what you're seeing right now is the new agent portal. So if for some reason you haven't gotten this link from Blue Cross, don't be worried. They're phasing out the old one by October 1st. So they're doing the links and waves. So, you know, we're just kind of giving you a high level view of what that'll look like. Um, so Chelsea, I mean, you showed there's a dashboard, there's tools. Things are going to look and feel just a little bit different on the on the front face of the new agent portal. Once you're within the links, it looks just like the old agent portal. So um, she clicked on individual, you see across there's dashboard tools, products, quote and enroll, service, click links. Um, I think Chelsea, if we click on the quote and enroll, do you have that screen? Or was yep. it quick? This link? is a quote and enroll screen. Maybe go to quick links. It was quick links, I think. So, so you know, we've never really in the individual space, we're not really using many of those other pieces. What you want is to get to that individual business agent community. So you would just log in, click the individual, click links. And then if you see that very top one is individual business agent community. So that's taking you to, you know, that platform to do the quoting, do the enrollment. Um, if you're not familiar with it, that's the one you want to click simply put. And then that's going to take you to that individual business agent community. That was like a small, like orange button kind of in the middle before, right? Yeah. 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 I haven't had a ton of time to look at this new one yet. I, um, 
but I'm more familiar with the old one. And that was the, yeah, there was like a button kind of in the middle that was orange that kind of took you to all this stuff. So if you're looking to kind of replace Correct me if I'm wrong, if you're looking to kind of replace that button and just where all those links that you would go to when you click it, this is kind of where you'd want to be, right? Yeah. So instead okay. of looking for the orange button, you're looking for Quick Links Individual Business Agent Community. All the way over there on the right, kind of. There's this big, there's tool, the toolbar up at the top and then it's all the way to the right. Mm -hmm. Cool. Okay, so, and then we have the Priority Health Agent Center, same thing as um, Blues, basically, just a little different. Um, couple buttons up here. This is what the screen will look like when you first log into it. Um, but I'm gonna just draw attention to some of the uh, buttons that you're probably going to want to use. Uh, this is the Priority Quote and Book of Business buttons here. They allow you to develop a quote, manage enrollment, and view reports on your book. And then this next group, Agent Commissions and Commission Schedules, gives you access to the commission statements and view the commission guides for the priority families. The My Priority button will bring you to selling materials, plan details, and forms for the under 60, individual under 65 market. The Agent Resource Library brings you to rate sheets, SBCs, coverage documents, and post-enrollment information. And then finally, the agent news tab will bring you to copies of agent alerts and monthly digests of communications from Priority Health. So, oh, sorry. So there's other buttons that can be helpful in here too, but those are probably the ones you're going to use the most. Um, Jess, is there anything I missed? No. So, I mean, your book of business, you're going to see your complete book of business um, priority quote. That's where you're going to go to get to that quote and enrollment for your under 65. And then that Medicare certification um, down at the bottom row, I don't think we have a box around it, but it's that bottom row. If you click that, that's gonna get you to your Medicare certification, which is the next screen that Chelsea's gonna show you. Um, so we wanted to highlight this because there's two ways to get to the Medicare Advantage certification. So if You've never sold with priority. Um, oh. If you've never sold with priority, there is like a form that you would have to fill out. Um, if you've been certified before, you're gonna click that returning agents button. You have to fill out the form for new agents because if you don't, then you won't, you can't really click that green button and get to the certification. So just wanted to highlight that. I think we might have one more screen um, that kind of gets you yep. to see like the form or what happens next. So, or, or maybe we don't. Um, anyways, if once you fill out the form as a new agent, it sends you a link to get to the certification for priority. So usually it takes a few hours to get that email with the link in it and then um, basically, though, it's going to take you to that link in your NPN, and it, last year it was like PH2024 was the code that you had to input. There we go. So you would get this registration ID, which is your NPN, and then the access code. And like I said, it was PH2024. I would have to imagine this year is probably going to be PH2025. But um even if it's not, let us know if you have any issues getting in. If you notice, there is a thing that says, if not, um, you should have received your registration credentials in that welcome email. If not, click here. So um, we can walk you through it, though, if you get stuck. Okay, awesome. Yes. And then we get into the homebrewed content, the action benefits created stuff. So, um, to get where you want to go as an agent at our Action Benefits website, either you're going to um, want to click on the Agent Login button. So this is vegan to actionbenefits.com. All the way in that um, top right corner, there's that blue Agent Login button. It will take you to something that looks kind of like this. You're going to um, use a username and password to sign in. If you don't know your username or your password, you can click Forgot Username, Forgot Password, or of course, talk to some of our individual team account managers and they can help you there. Um, if you do need to get that set up, if you didn't um, have an account uh, sign in, they can get 
a quick registration form your way. It takes like about 48 hours or less to get that account set up for you. I bet less, to be honest. So then once you log in, it's going to look like this. Oh, Jess, go ahead. Oh, okay. Um, this agent portal, which is we love to call AWeb, is your one-stop shop for viewing and managing the business that has been written through our offices. So we have a couple of key features here. We have that communications tab up there. Um, send some links out to you. We have the insurability um, knowledge base right here, uh, which I kind of think of it as like the Wikipedia of health insurance of anything that we work with. Um, it's kind of like my favorite part of this because I have involvement isn't as yours truly. So um, it has a ton of information about the industry. There are, ha are hands-on courses you can take, videos you can watch, um, marketing things you can download, forms you can get a hold of. There's It's updated all the time. Um, and if there's any issues that you have with it or something you'd like to see in it, you can let me know and I can add it for you. Um, so there's tons of stuff available to you there. Um, and then we have the status, of a, status at a glance button which provides you with two key features. Um, it's, you can see your entire book that has been written through our office, whether it's group Medicare or under 65. And then that activity dashboard gives you line of sight into all the service requests that you have with us. Um, some of that information is also available in other places, but this is a one-stop shop type thing. Um, Jess, did I miss anything? Cool, all right. So in, this is what you would see when you click on insurability, um, that knowledge library that I talked about. There are over 1,400 unique articles to help you with everything you need to know about individual and Medicare and group business, as well as some training courses and social media files like I talked about before. Um, those uh, on-demand courses can be accessed by clicking on the button all the way to the left where it says entire catalog. Or you can just scroll down a little bit um, once you're on the screen and it will kind of like Netflix, like recommend courses that it thinks will help you based on your line of business, based on the carriers you work with, or based on courses you've already taken. So um, I think it's pretty neat, um, but I'm biased. Um, and then if you ever wanted to get to all of those articles that I mentioned, those 14 articles, this red button in the middle-ish that says search the knowledge base, that's where you're going to click. So if you click on that button, you can search for um, how to enroll in under 65 members, all available options, including paper documents. This is if you would have typed in that search bar up there, um, enrolling under 65, articles will pop up just like Google, literally just like Google. And this is one of the articles that this is kind of what they look like. Um, as you can see, they've been updated pretty recently. And then they're organized by carrier most of the time. Um, so for this particular article, you get your blue cross tab, and then you could click priority for your priority tab. Um, so I want to just interject that it's important to note too, like if if we're not your GA for priority, you're not going to have a priority tab. So it's only going to show you blue cross um, okay. and same vice versa. So if, if you're with us for both, you're going to see both. Um, but yeah, to Chelsea's point, it, to me, I always say it's, it's, Google for all things insurance. Um, and then I say it's, we took our brains and put them into the, these articles. So um, anything that we thought would be helpful to you guys, maybe we get a lot of phone calls on, we created an article for it, so. Yeah, it's updated all the time. Um, I spend some of my day each week in here making sure that things are up to date. Um, and like I said, if there's anything that is not in here that you'd like to see, you know where to find me and I can put it in there for you. Um, and then also it houses any paperwork you might need as well. I it, When I go in there and look and see the number one uses for insurability, it tends to be getting a hold of um, documents that you might need. So that's another great option. And that little star that you see on the right hand side, if you click the little star, it saves it as like a favorite article. So if it's something that you're going to quite frequently, it you hit that star and then over on the left-hand side, there's those three bars. 
that you can access those starred articles from those three bars. Yes. Um, I'm so proud of that star. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I may, I put that star in there and you can save up to 10. So you can save up to 10. Like if you really, if this is your go-to place to find like a certain document and you don't want to keep searching it every time, click that blue star. And then in this hamburger menu over here, you click, it will open up your favorites and those 10 articles that you favorited will be in that spot. So that way you don't have to keep searching for that article over and over. Really handy dandy, I think but I'm biased. So <laughs> um, this is just what, if you had scrolled down a little bit, like I had mentioned earlier, this is what it looks like. Um, it recommends me everything because I work with everything, but if you were, um, but it is tailored to fit whatever business you work with. So if you don't have any group business with us, you wouldn't be seeing like, for example, that coverage for companies dem demo would not be recommended to you because it's not really helpful for you. Um, uh, if you were just Medicare, it'd be re recommending just Medicare stuff. Um, if you worked with priority, when you so on and so forth. Um, it also has, uh, courses that are not like directly health insurance related, but are helpful for like your business. Um, there's some like how to use Microsoft courses, how to use PowerPoint, like some tricks to help you with Outlook, um, sales course. There's all sorts of stuff. Like if you go exploring there, a lot of issues can be solved through some of these courses. It's really, and I know I'm biased because I created a lot of them, but they um, go exploring. There's so much you don't realize is in there. Or even ones that maybe you had signed up for or, or you wanted to sign up for and you couldn't make it, they're there. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, they're recorded. And they're, if there's no proprietary information in them, they're also available on YouTube. So this even this very webinar will be available and on YouTube, hopefully by the end of the day, if I can cut it up fast enough. All right, so then we head into coverage for one. Um, this is the enrollment platform that we have created for you so that you could do your on-market, off-market, and Medicare business all in one spot. Any carrier that you're partnered with, with us, you will see your business on that dashboard. You have to love it. It also has a PURL. So you can give your clients that personal spin on things. Clients can use that PURL, which means personal URL. I learned that when this first came out. Um, means that that URL is linked to you. You can send that URL out to your clients. They can start shopping on their own and get quotes themselves. And then you can take a look at what they did and then you can help them out. And then you can be on the same page when you meet with each other. Um, if you have a Medicare client, you can get those scopes of appointment out and signed electronically or you can scan them with a pen and paper and then they're compliant, um, after they sign with pen and paper, I should say, and then they are compliantly stored for you. So you don't have to worry about that Medicare compliance portion. And it will connect with your Sunfire and um, Stride accounts. So just make sure that you have those uh, usernames and passwords ready to go if you are going to use it for one of those two markets. Or if you're familiar with Sunfire already, you really love Sunfire, um, and so you're, you're like, oh, I don't know if I want to switch to something. It's, it's the same thing. So if you're not switching, um, if you had already used Sunfire to begin with, it would just help you house your multi-carrier stuff in one spot. Um, Jess, did I miss anything there? No, I just, uh, you know, this is truthfully my favorite tool for off-market. So if you're looking at this screen right now, that green get a quote button is going to take you to off-market quoting. Um, so if you have both Blue Cross and Priority with us, you're going to be able to quote them side by side. Um, gives a really nice detailed quote, um, plus access to the benefit summaries and things like that. So it truly is like an all-in-one. Um, and then we also do, well, Chelsea, not me, maybe sometimes me, does a training on coverage for one specifically. So if you you know, need to, to do that one, um, maybe sign up for it, look at the training calendar, see if there's one coming up. If not, you can go back into the insurability and see if um, there was a pre-recorded coverage for one training. There's some on YouTube as well. Um, I, there's also some like tutorials that are very short that I did where it was like, okay, I just really want to learn how to use just the, um, I don't know, the x-ray vision version of part of Sunfire. They're really short. They're right there for you if you just want to quick get to the point. Um, and then there's a longer, like, full demos that are available on YouTube as well. Um, or reach out to 
the yeah. individual team will send you the links. Right. Yep. Um, we are hosting a new, another live demo in August. Don't quote me on the date. I don't have it memorized. Sometime we want to go check the training calendar and um, sign up for that if you want a live demo of that. Speaking of that, you have the YouTube channel that we have as well. So any, like I mentioned earlier, if you ever missed a webinar or if you want a quick video on some um, to help you explain something to a client, there's some of those as well. Um, any webinar that doesn't have proprietary information on it that I can publicly share is going to be available on that YouTube channel. Um, if there's one that does have proprietary information that you're interested in seeing, let us know. We can email a link of it out to you because um, they just have to stay private. Or um, if you really just want to watch Randy and Chelsea be goofy, there's some shorts on there too that kind of give you some short little bits of information that are just really quick, like less than a minute. Um, and those can be helpful for you as well if you're just really looking for one quick little bit. Um, and then some of them are even like not action branded. So you could steal some of them and show them to your clients or put them on your website if you really wanted something to explain, say, uh, Part D, um, how your Part D payment plan works, whatever. There's videos on that so that you don't have to go explaining it yourself and it draws some attention to your website. All right, that's all that we have for you today, um, unless just there's anything you wanted to add to wrap up before we. Um, but yeah, we're here to help you. So reach out to us. We love helping. I know Debbie Brown, she loves helping. I love helping all of the, the beautiful people you saw on the screen. We're, we're here for you.